Uh, right, seven oh nine nine three double three. Tony Snell, BBC Radio Merseyside. Let's move on. It's uh, 18 minutes to the hour, 18 minutes to away. So we've been uh, hearing uh, Liverpool City Council meets for the first time since the local elections this evening. All eyes said to be on the familiar figure of Joe Anderson. It's his new role as directly elected mayor. Uh, but at the same meeting last year, the headlines belonged to an 18-year-old, Jake Morrison, who'd just become the city's youngest councillor. And he did it in some style, too, beating former council leader and Lord Mayor Mike. Now, Lord Story. So there you are. Oh, there's a feather in your cap for you. BBC Radio Merseyside's political reporter, Leanne Harper, had a chat with him just to look back on a busy 12 months and how he's tried to prove he's more than just the new kid on the block. I've had to get out on a boat. I've had to, to be a, a grassroots representative of the people of Wavertree and, and I've tried to achieve that by going along to, to the bingo sessions and walking the streets. I try to do that at least once a week, just walking around... Um, uh, just speaking to people, just stopping people while they're, they're out in the gardens, obviously communications through leaflets and, and Twitter and everything else. But as I said, it's just about speaking to people because I think when I've had that conversation with people, they have understood, but when they've heard um, just about my age, they automatically assume that I, I, I wouldn't be able to do the job. I think it's probably fair to say one of the, the biggest things you've been involved with in the community is the Oliver King Foundation. How important was it for you to, to be a part of that and looking back on the work you've you've managed to do just in the last few months just you know, how how significant has that been for you well um the, the room is sitting now is actually where i first ever met mark and joanne king oliver's parents what it was obviously oliver died in king david's in in march so obviously i wasn't elected then it was the campaign and it was very i felt it was very very inappropriate for me to have made contact then as a, as a labor candidate and, and just after I was elected, I remember there was a, a resident on um, a, a phone-in show talking about Oliver's death and how they wanted to make a difference. So I made contact with Mark and Joanne and, when we met, and I just agreed with exactly what they were campaigning for. We should have access to defibrillators. It's such simple, um, cheap equipment that should be available everywhere. And I could see that the way of, whole of the Wavertree community was just moved by what happened. People weren't really sure what, what is sudden arrhythmic death syndrome, what Oliver died of. Do 12 young people every week really die of this condition? And, and Oliver's parents needed help to, to get that awareness out. And I'm extremely proud of the work that they've done. I'm extremely proud that they asked me to be involved. Do you think age is still an issue for you, or do you feel now that you've sort of got into the role, you are still learning on the job, but is that even relevant anymore? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's relevant because sometimes I'm still sitting in meetings and people are waiting for the councillor to arrive and I've been sitting there for the past 15 minutes waiting for some of the other people to arrive. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I've had to do. And, and it's bringing the Oliver King Foundation back into it. They had a fun day um, last Sunday uh, and I went along and, and a lady greeted me and said, oh, what year group are you in? <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you very much for that. Um, so, so that's the only way it's been brought in. I think it's just been genuinely not understanding who I was, and, 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 and that's been fine. But I have had tremendous support from colleagues, uh, my mentor, Ros Gladden, and, and, and we've got on with it. But, but you've rightly identified that it, for anyone who's, who's new in the role, you've got to start to understand. And, and maybe it's took me a bit longer to get to, to know things, but, but uh, what, what I've worked on, I've got to do with or without help, really. But you've got 12 months under your belt now. There's still a few years ago before you're up for election next time. Now you're working for an MP as well. What about your future political aspirations? I mean, is it all like you imagined it would be? No. <laughs> well, two years ago, I never thought I'd even have a, a career in politics. And, and, and just over a year ago, just before I was elected, I didn't even know if I was going to be a councillor. Uh, and I'm surprised I've lasted a year because, you know, they do say politi- that week is a long time in politics and a year is not. It's, you know, it's, it's just flew over. So much has happened, but it's just flew over. So in three years' time, I hope to be reselected by the Labour Party. I hope to be re-elected by the residents of Wavertree and just continue to, to serve them the best I can. Yeah, it was uh, interesting to find out that when people go to his uh, surgeries there, you know, they, they they see Jake and say, is the councillor in? I'm sorry, my, I am uh, the councillor, but uh, yeah, uh, good luck to him. There's uh, uh, 18-year-old, or 19 as he is now, Jake Morrison, uh, a year ago become the city's youngest councillor. 